So I'm coming on here today just to do a really quick video to show you how I'm going to use my tumbler press to sublimate on this carabiner mug. Now my husband does a lot of hiking and camping and his group is called 33 Adventures. So I have a sublimation print. It's backwards because that's how you print sublimation prints. I have a heat glove, some blowout paper, my heat tape, and then I've already cleaned my mug with alcohol and paper towels. So he wants the design facing him when he drinks out of it. So I printed my design and it is about two and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide. And I just want to kind of center it between the handle and the far side of the mug. Then I'm not going to put a lot of tape on this, really just enough to hold that paper in place. All right, I'm going to lift this up so I can look at it really well, make sure it's... Okay, I think it looks fine, so I'm just going to put two more pieces of tape down here at the bottom. Now, to protect my tumbler press, I have a couple of sheets of printer paper. I'm just going to put that around the mug. Then I have my press preheated to 385, and I'm going to press this for 50 seconds. Before I heated the tumbler press up, I put my mug in and made sure I had good pressure. So I'll just slide this in, and then I'm going to hold the handle so that I know that the entire image is being pressed. All right, I have a little cooling rack over here. Go ahead and turn the press off. Okay, I've let that cool for maybe a minute, minute and a half. It's still pretty hot, so you want to be really careful. But you know me, my patients don't let me wait. So let me just try to grab that paper. Oh my, that's going to be pretty. All right, so that's really nice. Let me show you where the tape was. There's no residue. There's no problems there. Now with the glare of the lights, it's really hard to see this. Let me turn those off, see if it's any better. Okay, the lights are turned off. It's still kind of glary in here, but you can tell that turned out just perfect. I think my husband's going to love that. So thanks for joining me. Until my next video, bye-bye. For my design, I went to Creative Fabrica, and I found this mountain and forest pine trees clip art file. So I used this mountain right here. I did make it taller. And then I used this set of pine trees. I put those together. And then I just added the words 333 Adventures because that's what my husband's group is called.